Hey guys, Big Omar here from OTR Gamer TV. What is going on? Back once again with some more information on this GTA 5 update, import and export. So I've just came home now. I've jumped online as you do, and I've noticed because I was just messing around. I thought you know, there might be something new here and there that I'll have a little look. And I went to Benny's first because, as you know, Benny's is always the one that's in the middle. It's there. It's the sponsored advertisement. So I just clicked it. Then I've gone to Stark. And yo, people, the Trafard Nero, look at that. I've just seen this right now, peeps. I mean, it looks like this when you buy it. It is a Benny's vehicle, so it's going to be off the chain. I mean, this is just one example of how it can look. <clears throat> As you can see, it isn't really that expensive for, like, one of the newer vehicles. I mean, the old um, Adder's still, you know, well, I think that's still like a million dollars. This isn't much more. This is based on the new Bugatti Chiron, Chiron, whatever it's called. But as you can see, the car looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to purchase it now. I was saving my money. I mean, as you can see, I don't have a lot as it is. I've spent quite a bit of money so far. But I was going to save my money to buy the custom garage, the 60 car garage. But I've seen this car and, you know, it's got to be done, people. It's got to be done. So I'm about to buy this vehicle now, as you can see. And he says buy this vehicle, yes. Uh, where are we? We're in Eclipse Towers. L let's send it to Eclipse Towers for now. As you can see, guys, I'm left with two and a half million, something like that. But I've had a little look around. There doesn't seem to be anything else new that's here on the actual phone through the through any of these like you know um, websites. I've been to Elitus. Obviously, with Elitus Travel, I don't know if it was there before or not, but there is a sale on the uh, Velotus and the Nimbus. You're getting like half a mil off each. So, that's something that might be new, folks. I don't know. If you haven't seen it, then it's new to you guys. Um, I've been to Legendary Motors. There isn't nothing new here. As you can see, the Tempesta was the last one. I've already got a video about that car. And there doesn't seem to be anything else there. Warstock, again, folks, same thing. There doesn't seem to be nothing here. This is my next car I am going to purchase. This is my I'm saving up for next to buy. I do want this car. I'm pretty much adamant I'm going to buy this car. Even though it's one of the most expensive vehicles in the game. And, you know, it isn't worth spending that kind of money on it. But I'm going to do it anyway because that's me. But, <clears throat> yeah. Dark Tees, as you can see, there is nothing new here. And again, I'll just take you to the bikes. As you know, there's nothing in the bikes. And... There's nothing in Southern San Andreas. The last part was from the bikers update. So, yeah, as you've seen, I've just bought the um, Nero, the new addition to the, uh, new, like, new addition to the update for GTA 5. And as you can see, look at this. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks really cool. I, I doubt I'm going to have enough money to do the car up because I know it's going to be a hella, you know, expensive just to bloody take it to Benny's and do the upgrade on it but I'm gonna see what it's like see if I can just keep it as a normal car for now and I'm gonna go from there yeah as you can see this is my Elegy and you know it's based on the skyline boss it's and me look cool this car. garage space and yeah it's notified me that my car has now been confirmed to be delivered and whoa whoa come on guys what are we thinking of this? This is looking beautiful right here. It looks nice standard. I'm I'm loving the rims. The rims are pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's definitely just an upgrade to the Bugatti as you can see. You know, the exhausts are in the middle. The lights are a bit different. I think when you put different stuff on the car, you'll obviously make it look a bit more different. Let's have a little look on the inside, folks. Yeah, the inside's pretty standard to be fair. The seats are kind of looking a bit cool, but it's pretty standard from what I can see here. Nothing special, you know. Nothing like them two beasts over there. I think they're amazing. They're, t they're my two favourite cars in the game so far, but you never know. This might be a contender, so let's take this out. Let's take this for a little drive. Let's go towards Benny's and take it inside <clears throat> and see what kind of stuff we can do to the car. I know you're going to be able to change the colour of it and you know you're going to be able to do this and that but obviously seeing it first hand it's different so let's take this for a little drive 
straight away yeah, you can tell the car is a bit fast I mean I haven't pushed it yet but you can just tell the Bugatti itself the original Ada is very fast it's a beautiful car I love it it's one of my favorite cars in the game that's why I refuse to sell it because if I sell it then I'm gonna be mighty annoyed because you know you don't really buy a car to sell it but even though I have sold quite a few but we are driving towards Benny's now. That was me being stupid, just wasting extra money, folks. As you can see, it's pretty nippy. It's got quite a few like gears to go through. I mean, it's still changing gears, as you can hear. And yeah, this is the new Nero. It's a beautiful car. I'm going to see, like I said, how much the upgrades are for the car. I might just change the colour, maybe the rims or something, just to show you guys a few of the upgrades you can have on the car. Remember guys, this is a Benny's vehicle, so, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's going to be amazing, I reckon. You're going to be able to make it look super cool, super fast, and I think with the upgrades, it might be up there as one of the quickest cars on the game, because it looks beast mode, let's, let's be honest. And, you know, as you can see, that retractable... Um, air brake at the back see like you know it's got the air brake like the uh, t20 has but yeah let's see what i can do now folks let's take it inside inside of benny's lay it on me what am i doing well it doesn't cost a lot so far to repair because it, it hasn't been upgraded i mean look at that six hundred and five thousand I mean you know it's a bit excessive you know what I mean and then they expect you to spend this extra money on top to you know do it up and it's just a bit over the top you know what I mean like how do they expect you to spend so much money on a car I mean the exhaust the exhaust kind of looks cool the way you can change the exhaust but you know that's about it really you can't really put anything else on there when it's normal As we know, I, I always like to put my own number plate on my cars. Mm. Uh, you know, the colour it is now, I'm going to leave it like that for a bit because I just want to see what happens. <laughs> you could put some skirts on it. Obviously the transmission, we all know about the turbos, but, you know, it's looking kind of cool at the moment, peeps. I don't really want to put anything on there yet. I am going to change the colour of my car, though, just for now, because I just want to. And if you guys know me, I always go for my matte red and matte black combinations. So I'm going to have a little look, see how it looks. I kind of like the blue, I'm not going to lie. Red kind of looks nice as well, but my initial thought was orange to be fair, because, I don't know, I think orange suits this car, my other car's black and orange as well, but the blue is, the blue's like sticking out for me today, I kind of like the blue, I'm going to go for the blue folks, and yeah, I'm going to put something on my windows so my car looks a bit better. As you can see, you can't really put a um, back wing on it or anything like that. Spoiler. I think you'll be able to do that option when you actually um, upgrade the car. And I'm going to go make some more money. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to try upgrade this car so we can see what it looks like. And add a bit more stuff to it. But as you can see at the moment, folks, the car is looking really good. This is the Truffard Nero, it is a supercar, it is a part of Benny's, so it's one of Benny's cars and I reckon it's going to be amazing when it's done up and it's going to look really cool and as you can see like I said if you look at the top corner I did spend all my money on buying this car, I wasn't meant to spend all my money on this car but you know <clears throat> I've got enough garages and I've got enough space and I can always downgrade some stuff so at the moment I'm just going to go park this up and i'm going to show you guys another video soon hopefully where i continue with this and i have enough money 
and I can upgrade this car some more and show you folks exactly what it looks like and yeah like I said it's a, it's a beautiful car don't get me wrong it drives really nice as it is just as a standard car but with, the car, with these kind of cars you can't just have them as standard especially a Benny's vehicle I refuse to like some people will keep their car looking just like this you know fair play but that's not me I, I, I prefer my cars to look a lot better and a lot more crazier and you know if the features there to make your car look super cool why not do it why not take advantage of what Rockstar are offering and do that <clears throat> but this car's gonna go with my other cars now in the other garage and yeah I'm gonna sign out I'm gonna say thank you for joining me today like comment subscribe share my video we do do some series now and we do do YouTube versus OTR Gamer TV so check out some of my videos let us know what you think and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.